Humanity. What does it mean to be human? Do we have to look human to be human? Do we have to act like a human? So Sophie! Oh. oh, hello there. I'm Sophie Tiawata, the Humanity Hunter. Today we are going to study what makes a human a human. Today we're going to start with the, um, S, uh, uh, how do we pronounce it? I don't know. Just, just, just go along. Oh, uh, we're going to start with this lovely human being that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, Australiaphobia. Uh, Australiaphobia. Australiathopians were the first human-like species on Earth. They were also the first species to walk on two legs. slipped from 2.5 million years ago to 1.8 million years ago. They had a brain size of 700 cubic centimeters. They were also the best used tools. Let's watch them adjusting for more better selection. Erectus is also known as the Upright Man. They were the first to develop technology and they invented fire. The Homo Erectus were the first to develop language. This is right. We are interviewing you today to find out how to find out. Tell me, Greg, now. Um, you're the first Upright Man? Neanderthals were part of the group of Homo sapiens. They tried to explain the world around them and were the first to develop religion. They had a brain size of 4,000 cubic centimeters and were more intelligent than the Cro Magnum. Okay. Okay. Continue. As you know, the Cro Magnum men and the Neanderthal were very good friends. They lived at the same time period. If I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, lose my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very fine, so happy together. Drew them apart. What? There are some theories that the Neanderthal became extinct, but no one really knows for sure what happened. As it was said before, the Cro Magna man lived in the same period as the Neanderthal and they are still around today. They have a brain size of 4,000 cubic centimeters. After observing the five different species of man, I found out it's not only the outside that counts, it's what's on the inside that makes you a man. Compassion, mercy, and all that other good, jolly good fun. I'm Sophie Clearwater, signing off. 
This has been Mr. Bond's World History Project. I'm sorry, Mr. Bond. I'm sorry.